Lanky Box could not stop crying because this is the hardest try not to cry challenge on YouTube. From seeing the Rainbow Friends lose their color to reacting to an alphabet lore animation where the letter F tries to make friends, these videos will break your heart. Stick around till the end to see Lanky Box cry from happiness as they react to you guys opening Lanky Box merch. Let's go. Okay. Hold up. It's the Rainbow Friends. There's a giant Rainbow Friend. What are they running from? Oh no. Come on, Green. Keep up. Red, why is this happening? Another one of your crazy experiments? This isn't my fault this time. Yeah, likely. Huh? Green. Hey, yo! Don't cry. Why is this? It's a giant rainbow rainbow friend taking everybody's colors, bro. Oh! Taste the rainbow. Ayo! 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 Ew! 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 Yes! Yes! This actually feels good. <laughs> Taste the rainbow, Red. Never. There's still time to fix this. I know it. Ah! Orange, glad to see you're safe. These rainbow creatures are everywhere. They already got pink and yellow. I don't know how much more of this we can take. Come with me. We'll get to my lab and work on a way to fix all of this. Lead the way! What? <laughs> nice try, but you can't escape the rainbow. Orange, no! Bruh. Let him go. No! So guys, all of the rainbow friends are having their colors stolen, and Justin cried. That means he loses a life too. Why are they doing this? So they they're taking all the colors and then they turn them back into rainbow. This is nuts, bro. Give me my color back. No! No! no. Oh, taste the rainbow. Mmm, <laughs> pretty tasty. Red. You gotta try this. I should have known you couldn't help but gorge yourself. Yeah. Very well. I will solve this alone. First green, and now orange. This rainbow monster was going to destroy the rainbow friends one by one if I didn't find a way to stop it. Thankfully, hope arrived with the appearance of purple. Red, down here. Purple, you're alive. Whoa! That's right. Once the others started going nuts, I took to my vents quickly. You gotta get to your lab, right? To make this all go away? That's the plan. No problemo. It's this way. Follow me. Whoa! They're going to Red's lab to fix this. No way. Here we are. Hey, what the- No! Give me your cover. No! Oh my god! Oh. That's so sad, guys. Purple actually got his color stolen. <laughs> oh man, we both lost a heart. Now, brothers, prepare the beast. <laughs> the beast had me cornered, but I wasn't about to go down without a fight. Are you ready to accept your fate? No, I won't let you turn me into one of your mindless monsters. You don't have a choice. Oh! They're fighting! Nice. Don't fight. Do me the water. Whoa! It washed off all the rainbow, Red! That's really cool! Red, you saved me! Leo, you're the rainbow monster. That's right. But thanks to you, I'm myself again. Blue, listen to me very carefully. All of the rainbow friends are still very much in danger. Why don't you tell me what happened, so I can better think of a way to save them. We don't have much time. Well, okay then. It's all my fault, Red. Let me start at the beginning. The other day, when I was doing my daily routine of patrolling, looking for humans to hunt, I passed by all the others. The Rainbow Friends were in a really bad place. Everyone's just feeling so bummed out. Sure, becoming a Rainbow Friend has given them awesome powers, but there's a lot of limitations too. I'll start with myself first. I may be big and strong now, way more so than when I was a pathetic human, 
I also gained some cool new friends. I even get to spend more time with my sister. But there's a lot of drawbacks. I didn't want to mention it because of green and all, but this button eye of mine, I can't see out of it. My depth perception is all out of whack. Not only that, but this perpetual slobber is really annoying. It's always dripping into my drinks. Disgusting. My body is so big and bulky that I'm always hitting my head on door frames. Not to mention the seats in the theater are super uncomfy. Oh, that's the worst. That's not funny. That's sad. He got so many things he can't do. Yeah, right, guys. That is pretty sad. Oh, Justin lost half a heart there. Yeah, being blue is hard. But it's nothing compared to the others, like Orange. I talked to him that day, and he had his own troubles. I used to be big. I could eat and eat and never get tired of eating. Nowadays, I can only eat on a set feeding schedule. Not to mention, I'm so small, I have to ask the other taller rainbow friends to reach things for me. I can't even be independent. Sure, I'm a cool dinosaur, and I should be thankful for that. But aren't dinos supposed to be big? I can't help but wonder if there's something that could have been done about this. I wanted to learn more, so I headed to the vents. What's that? You want to know what's got me down? Well, what doesn't? I'm forced to crawl around these vents like a filthy rat. I had enough of the slimy underbelly when I was a human. My whole existence is like a big joke. I went to see Green, and his struggles were the most obvious of all. Where do I begin? Well, I'm blind, duh. But also, these short stubby legs and long arms make my balance a nightmare. I feel like one of those wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube men you see outside of car dealerships. Oh, it's sad, bro. All the rainbow friends have problems, man. I actually feel so sad right now because the rainbow friends, everyone's so scared of them, but they're all so sad. Oh. Orange would be so happy if he could just eat the leggy box kitchen. And, and green has short legs and purple has to go in the sewers all day. It's so sad. It's not easy being a rainbow friend, eh? Not at all, guys. It ain't easy being green. That's for sure. Everyone had their fair share of problems with being the specific color of rainbow friend that they were. But I thought to myself, if red made us into these things, maybe there's a way we could be made into something else. So I snuck into your lab while you were out having your morning tea, and from there, I got to work. I used the machine to combine my body with the essences of color you keep stored. First, I mixed with green's essence. I emerged from the machine as Cyan, a brand new rainbow friend. First thing I noticed was that my eye was fixed. I also had the long stretchy arms of green, and I wasn't drooling anymore either. It was amazing. But I was still facing green's balance issues, so I decided to take it a step further. I combined myself with the essence of purple. I became a beautiful violet rainbow friend. From here, I assumed the hunch posture of purple, thereby eliminating my top heavy issue. Now I could travel in style. I decided to give the vents a whirl, and boy, I sure could move fast through them. I knew that this was the cure to all of my friends' problems. If I could just get the mixes right, we'd remain ourselves, just without the drawbacks. But I might have gone a little overboard. I combined myself with all of the colors of the rainbow at once. I had hoped this would morph me into some kind of super being. A small part of me believed it might even make me human again. Instead, I became the rainbow monster you encountered. I had all the colors within me, but that still wasn't enough. I needed everyone else's essence of color too. Only by draining it from them could I give them the gift of the rainbow. Oh, them. that's so sad, man. He just wanted to be human. Wow. <laughs> and instead, he ran a bunch of experiments on himself and turned himself into a monster. Wow. Essence of color too. Only by draining it from them could I give them the gift of the rainbow. At least, this is what my head was telling me. The colors had completely taken over, and I was more beast than friend. You already know the rest. I took green, orange, and purple's colors already. And I nearly took yours too. Until you saved me. Wait, how did you save me again? Let us in. Come on. You gotta taste the rainbow. It's a gift like none other. The steam from the pipe blew. The water vapors were what returned you to normal. Of course, it's so simple. Hmm, water was the cure all along? So, should we give the other rainbow friends a bath? Exactly. Well, not exactly, but close enough. They'll be through that door in no time. 
quick, help me set a fire. What? Are you crazy? Trust me. Okay, if you say so. Fire! Aha! We got you now. Watch out! Huh? What? Not today. Oh, fire alarm! Oh, the water! No! no! It burns! It burns! You're going back to normal! Yeah. It worked! Everyone's back to normal! Nah, it's in the sewage. No way. Hey, yo! <laughs> and here's a video about a rejected rainbow friend. Huh? The main rainbow friends are exactly what you would expect. Rightly colored creatures that all get along as pals. Sure, there may have been a few incidents here and there where they may have fought, but even the closest of brothers do that occasionally. For the most part, Blue, orange, green, and purple have been best buds since they were transformed from humans. But what if I told you there was one rainbow friend in particular that they always hated? Someone that was never loved or invited to their various parties. Wow, that's sad. So he's saying basically all the rainbow friends, blue, orange, green, purple, are like brothers and they fight, which is true because Adam and I are brothers, but we still fight sometimes. But there's one rainbow friend that they all really don't like. Which rainbow friend is rejected? I know what you're thinking. It's probably Red, right? While it's true Red is hated by the Rainbow Friends now, he had plenty of opportunities to be accepted by the group. It's his own fault he chose to destroy and deceive at every possible turn. And even now, if he was to ask for forgiveness, they would probably forgive all the bad things he's done. No, this is the story of a Rainbow Friend no one knows or cares about. The rejected Rainbow Friend. Gray. Oh my goodness, it's like a little centipede. Ew! Guys, so they're saying the rejected rainbow friend is the one that's called Gray, and it's like a little ant centipede, bro. To fully understand his sad tale, we must go back to where it all began, back before he was the hideous ant-like monster he is today. Gary Grayson seemed like a very normal child growing up. Yo? He was polite to his parents and got good grades in school. He was very healthy for his age. Okay, wait a minute. Is this the story of A? Yep. No, because I didn't do well in school. Yeah, but you did have notes like this one. Yeah. <laughs> I am loving him, mom. Okay, okay. He was very healthy for his age and loved to spend time outdoors. On top of that, he always had a fascination with animals. But unlike the other kids, who enjoyed learning about all sorts of large zoo creatures or ancient dinosaurs, Gary was only interested in one very specific region of the animal kingdom. But... What? His obsession started off small, with a simple butterfly, fluttering through the air. But quickly he wanted to learn about every insectoid he could. Bees, centipedes, ladybugs. If it buzzed in the air or crawled on the ground, Gary had to know more about it. Ah, he let the bugs crawl all over him. So he loved bugs, guys. He loved bugs. Wait a minute. This literally is Adam. Guys, if you want to see a secret Lanky Box story about how Adam once had a bunch of ants as pets, look up Lanky Box animated story. That's a real story. He would spend multiple hours a day after school looking for new specimen to study. When he found something, he'd collect them in jars, like a prized trophy. Proud of his discoveries, he would try to show off to the other children. They did not share Gary's enthusiasm for bugs, however. In fact, they all found them yucky and unpleasant to look at. Some oh. of the meaner boys would take his bugs and- Hey! He squished a bug? That's messed up. Never do anything like that ever in your life. Right, well said. Ah. Some of the meaner boys would take his bugs and squash them under their feet. They'd call him names like Gross Gary or Bug Boy and would shove him to the ground. If you like insects so much, you should just stay down in the dirt with them. Yeah, they're your only real friends, Bug Boy. <laughs> Man, that's not cool, guys. We've said it before. We'll say it again. Meanies are weenies. You know what I mean? I agree, guys. Be nice and be lit. Be super lit, bro. <laughs> Don't be a meanie. Be the opposite, which is have lit fun. In a strange way, however, without their bullying, he may not have discovered his most favorite insect of all, the mighty ant. Yeah. They were everything Gary wished he was. Both super strong for their size and constantly surrounded by friends and family. Okay. You see, while Gary's social life wasn't particularly good, 
His home life was actually worse. His parents fought all the time, screaming and yelling at each other at the top of their lungs. Man, this is really sad, bro, because um, nobody likes him at school. They're picking on him, and then at home, his parents are fighting. It's really sad. That is sad, guys. You can't keep supporting Gary's weird obsession with bugs. It's creepy and weird, and all the kids hate him for it. I mean, he's a freak. We should take him to the Rainbow Friends play place like a normal boy. He's not interested in that stuff, and I don't want our son to be friends with bullies anyways. If learning about insects makes him happy, we should let him. Eventually, the two had to split up. The mom and dad just couldn't agree on anything, and he had to move out. And since his dad was in the army, he was gone for long periods of time. With his father out of the picture, Gary was forced to give up his bug collection. It was all he really ever cared about. Gary wasn't even allowed to talk about bugs. If he did, his mom would make him do all sorts of difficult chores. If you want to talk about ants so much, then you must not mind working as hard as an ant. Gary was miserable. But whenever his dad was back in Bloxburg, Gary got to stay at his house. Wow, man, that's so sad, bruh. They're making him do a bunch of chores just because he likes bugs? His mommy said if you like bugs, you gotta work like one, bruh. Man, that's not what? lit. The only time he's happy when he see his daddy. Yeah, that's true. That is so not lit, his mom, bro. Gary would look forward to it for months. Remember, absolutely no mention of insects of any kind. You hear me? No bug talk. Got it. Luckily for Gary, his dad didn't care about what mom thought. He just wanted to make his boy happy. I got this for you, buddy. You can open it, but we got to keep it here at my place. It'll be our little secret. Oh, wait a minute. That's an ant farm. Adam has one of those. I literally had one of those when I was younger, guys, and I accidentally spilled it all over. Guys, if you want to hear that story, look at our story. Wait, this is literally story of Adam. Adam, but did you get the ant farm from your D? <laughs> yes, dude, and it was lit. <laughs> and you were having lit fun, huh? Yes, man. Yeah. It was the best present Gary could have asked for. His very own ant farm. Nice. Every time he was able to visit his dad, he would examine it for hours. Unfortunately, Gary was only able to visit his dad when he wasn't off fighting in the war. Oh. At one time, he never returned. Huh. He was the only one oh. that was ever truly nice to Gary. Huh. The only person supportive that didn't make him feel like a loser. Ah. Wait, why did this video get to be so sad so fast? This is messed up, bro. To make matters even worse, it meant that his mom was finally able to find the ant farm. And she was furious. I can't believe you, Gary! All these years, you've been lying to me? When will you get over this stupid bug stuff and just grow up? It's time to teach you a lesson once and for all! The mom took the ant farm outside and smashed it to smithereens. She poured gas on the rubble and lit it on fire. What? Why? Don't do that, guys. That's not cool for this real. Is, that is not lit. That's, she's oofing. Yeah, guys, bugs are cool. That is not lit. It broke Gary. He felt like he had no real family left. He was now all alone in this world. Man, that's so not lit. Be nice, be lit. Yes. <laughs> Eventually, though, the years passed, and he was finally old enough to move out. He decided, against the wishes of his mother, to pursue his passion of entomology. His good grades helped him get into one of the most prestigious colleges in all of Roblox. It was everything he could have ever dreamed of. There were bug species neatly organized all over the room. Hey, Adam, what's so funny, bruh? I agree, Justin. Everyone, make sure to be nice and be lit. That's a great motto. Make sure to have <laughs> kindness in your heart and lit fun <laughs> in your brain. Yes. So he go to school to be a bug person. Oh, I got it. That's cool. Surrounded by magnifying glasses, microscopes, and other testing equipment. Gary could spend all day and night studying. Even better, he was finally around other people that shared his same love of insects. Nice! His first human friends. And that's all he needed to be happy for the first time in a long time. Sure, he didn't have much to his name, just a small dorm room and a new ant farm, just like the one his dad got him all those years ago, but that's all he wanted. Unfortunately, going to a fancy college was far from cheap, and Gary didn't have a job. He never really got much experience in high school, so he was desperate for anything that had decent pay. That's when he sought 
an ad for a job at the Rainbow Friends Play Play. No! This is so sad, bro. His life was finally turning around. He finally made friends. He, he got to be around the bugs. He escaped his mommy and the meanies. And now, but he's gonna go to the Rainbow Friends Play Place and get trapped and turn into a Rainbow Friend. Exactly, guys. He needed money, so he has to work at the Rainbow Friends Play Place. This is so sad, man. Everything was finally turning around for him. Gary remembered his mother talking all about it as a kid. Surely it'd be a good spot to make some cash. So he called the number. Uh, hello. Is this the Rainbow Friends Play Place? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Are you inquiring about the position that just became available? Uh, yeah. But the ad doesn't say what I'd be doing or how much I'd be making, and- Well, why don't you give us a visit, and I'll go over all the details. Suddenly, no! the line went dead, and Gary hung up. He was nervous. He leaned over to his ant farm and picked up some of his friends. All right, guys. Wish me luck. I feel like I'm going to need it. Bruh. I'm sure you can imagine what happens next. Bruh. Gary drove to the plate place and found the place looking trashed and abandoned. He knew it seemed risky to enter, but he was just so desperate for money. He couldn't let his dream die, so he went inside. He walked through the various halls, searching for Red's office. Or anyone, really. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? When suddenly, down the hallway, a light from one of the labs turns on. Gary cautiously stepped inside to find a strange contraption wearing to life. No. What is this no. place? Why, it's your new home. Huh? Ah! No! But what neither Red or Gary realized was that one of Gary's ants was still on him. Ah! Huh? What? No. What have you become? Some kind of bug? No child would want to come pay money to see a disgusting creature like you. Get out of my sight. Huh? Ray wanted to run away, to return to his studies, but he knew that Red was right. If no one liked him when he was younger, they certainly weren't going to accept him now. Man, that's so sad, bro. So that's why he was rejected. Bro, he turned into an ant and people still don't like him. Oh, man. His only hope to fit in was with the other rainbow friends, blue, orange, green, and purple. But even they were disgusted by him. They laughed at his lack of colors, at his insect-like appearance. They called him names and wouldn't even invite him to their parties. Sorry, pal, but Gray isn't a part of any rainbow I'm aware of. Get lost, you bug-eyed freak! Crawl back to whatever hole in the ground you came from. Yeah. And so he did. Maybe one day the others will accept Gray for who he is. They'll see that they've now become the bullies that used to pick on all of them. But until then, Gray will hide away in his tiny bunker, hidden away from everyone else as the rejected Rainbow Friend. That's so sad! <laughs> Here we go, nobody cry! There are many ways to interpret all the letters in the alphabet. For instance, A could stand for apples, an amazing and appetizing treat. B could be for a big beautiful butterfly fluttering through the sky. And C could be all sorts of things. Calm. C. Courageous. D. Cowardly. C. Crazy. C. Or even cool. C. But all too often, D has stood for death. Oh, what? Yes. Oh, bro, guys, do not cry. Every time I think of yeah. I feel like I'm gonna cry, bro, because everyone picked on it. Exactly, guys. This is an extreme try not to cry challenge. Me and Justin both have five lives. Every time we cry, we lose a heart. Don't cry! This is a story about the most evil of all the letters, F, and how it became the villain it is today. You see, F had started to attack various seemingly random letters of the alphabet, picking them off one by one. He started locking up his victims in handcuffs deep inside the caverns of his mountain fortress. D and E had no idea why they were being taken captive, but clearly something was wrong with F. He had changed from when they were young and not for the better. Now, this is sad because we know the full story of the, alpha uh, the alphabet lore, bro. Right, guys, don't cry. Everybody picked on F and he was just sticking up for N. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, we both lost one. Ow! Of course, there were those who looked to end his reign of terror. <laughs> G called out with his horn to enlist the help of his ABC allies. Cab. <laughs> Together, they formed a cab and swore to track down F to the ends of the earth. Oh. But they were too late to save H. His faint ghostly body faded away like dust in the wind. Oh. And oh. even that was a better fate than that of I. I. The poor little guy was jumped on and squashed repeatedly, eventually becoming a diabolical weapon used by F against the other alphabet letters. Oh my goodness, I never realized I felt bad for I, bro. He got squashed and then F turned him against his own friend. That actually is so sad. Guys, we have a ton of insanely sad videos to watch with you guys. Don't cry. Jay was incinerated instantly, never to be heard from again. Now! While Kay was left in a state of shock, having just witnessed the death of his dearest friend. But F would have no mercy on him. He forced Kay to become a set of rapid flapping wings that allowed him to soar through the air. Meanwhile, G, C, A, and B drove furiously towards the chaos in order to defeat F and his new unwilling partners. Though, when they finally arrived, they discovered I was too powerful. He charged up an enormous shot enough to wipe them all from the alphabet for good. G, C, A, and B huddled together, bracing for certain death. Luckily for them, L showed up to save the day just in the nick of time, along with his entire group of superheroes, LMNOP. Bro, it's LMNOP, bruh. Okay, let's see what happens here. Bro, I'm gonna cry if gets oofed, man. You see, they were seen as the protectors of the alphabet. Each of them had a very special gem that gave them immense power. M was able to break K free from F using his super strength, allowing him to fly away to safety. Bruh. But the attacks of N and O were much less successful, barely doing any kind of damage. When it was P's turn to attack, everyone was mesmerized, particularly G, Bruh. who had been in love with her for as long as he could remember. Bruh. F used the distraction as a chance to steal N's semicolon gem. With his new power in hand, he retreated back to his cavernous lair, locking up I away for good. After losing the semicolon crystal, N became normal once again. Disgusted by his failure, L and O flew away. Oh, it's gonna make me sad, bro, because I'm thinking about L and O picking on N when they were little lowercase alphabet landers. Very true, guys. This is gonna get very sad. One letter in particular, Q, frantically crawled towards the other letters. He seemed desperate to tell them something, but his slow, snail-like body never allowed him to fully reach them. It didn't take long for F to claim another victim. He attacked R and dragged him back to his fortress with I, E, and D. With F lost again, the others needed direction. The letters M, A, and P came together to form a map for G to track down F's location. He was heading straight for S. Nah. Try as they might, the heroes were too late to save S. No! The letter had been eaten by F, slurped down like a spaghetti noodle. Ah! L and O were the first to arrive. They tried to stop F in his tracks with their magical auras, but F had become too powerful. He easily shrugged off their attacks using the semicolon gem he stole from N earlier and wasted no time collecting the colon and period gems from L and O. He felt all the force energy of the punctuation crystals flowing through him. Soon, no one would be strong enough to defeat him, and his plan would be complete. No, bro, F is not evil, bro, he's nice. This video is crazy. Bro, he's getting oof T, man. After that, F attacked T, smashing him like a hammer into the ground. The other letters tried to stand up to F, but not even M in all his super strength could do any damage to him. F stole M's comma crystal. The only one that stood even the slightest chance was P. She bolted around with supersonic speed, thanks to her exclamation point gem. She was able to land several mighty blows against F, knocking him down to the ground. Still, she was no true match for him. As she charged up her beam attack, F was able to strike her with the comma freeze ray he had just stolen from M, leaving her locked in time. 
F has won. With four of the six punctuation gems in hand, he possessed abilities no other letter would dare to fight. That is, except for C, who had always been brave in the face of danger. Man, C is so brave, bro. He chopped F, bro. Oh, man, guys. But, but now C might pay the price. Yeah. Unfortunately, that was his undoing. F viciously attacked C, shredding him like old newspaper. F's work here was done. He flew away with P. The others mourned the loss of their friend C, but realized that if they were to ever defeat F, they would have to get creative. Bah, 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 bah. G and M joined forces with you in order to form a weapon. Surely, this would be the answer to all their problems, right? One blast and their nightmare could be all over. They fired F just as he was about to attack V. A direct hit. G, U, and N all rejoice. No. It was finally over. No. Until they realized F had more tricks up his sleeve. Somehow, he was able to disguise P as himself. <laughs> Man, we both lost another heart. Guys, that is so sad. I know. Wow. G hadn't saved the day. He had shot his love. And with that, a new word inside N's mind is formed. Coward. N thought back to everyone that had died or been captured. How no one was able to save them, including Elemental P, the supposed saviors of this realm. How was he going to stand up to F now? Meanwhile, F went back to his mountain to prepare for the final phase of his evil plan before being stopped in his tracks by X. X, X was a noble warrior. His beaming asterisk gem glistened in the air. His special power was the ability to clone himself. Identical copies of X started to spread out far and wide, surrounding F in waves. The strategy worked. F was perplexed by the clones. He had no idea where to attack, so he surrendered his gems. Being the chivalrous ninja he was, X obliged and put down his gem as well, revealing the true X. But chivalry can also be foolish. Without the element of surprise, X was quickly dispatched by F and his mighty jaws. And with him defeated, F was able to steal his crystal. Now only one punctuation gem remained out of his grasp. As Y mourned the loss of X, F began to set his trap. He plopped against the sides of the wall, creating oozing puddles of disgusting black goo. Ah! Then he vomited up S, locking him and R in chains alongside I, E, and D. Clearly, he was trying to spell out something. It seemed that F no longer needed the gems. The crystals placed themselves along the path inside the mountain as a sort of trail heading straight for F. The other letters cautiously entered. N, transfixed, started to pick up the gems one by one as his team was slowly picked apart. M, U, G, A, all taken away by the gross black darkness spread by F. It seemed as if N would be next. A giant set of sharp teeth filled the tunnel like a flood, and N was forced to flee. But instead of killing N, it led him all the way to F's inner sanctum. N wasted no time retrieving the last of the punctuation gems and transforming into his final form, unleashing an attack of rainbow energy directly at F. He's gonna oop F, but that's his friend! Bruh. No! Full time. And had done it. He defeated F with the power of love. Or was it actually the power of evil? As N got closer, he finally realized what F was trying to spell. The word friends. Ah F just wanted some friends, bro. We lost another heart. That's so sad. Man. No one knew how or what F was planning, except the wise Q, who had finally managed to catch up to the others. Q explained to everyone the prophecy he had foretold long ago. F and the other letters used to be younger, so young in fact, that they were all lowercase. And everyone got along, playing and dancing. That is, of course, until L and O decided to beat up N. 
L launched O like a slingshot towards the sad little letter and then mocked his insignificance. F, being the good friend he was, decided to pull off a hilarious prank as revenge. He corralled up the letter A R N T to help him spell fart. The gross flatulence as a result was loud and stinky enough to be heard throughout the entire alphabet, even killing H. But Eleanor would not be made fools of. They smacked F around, stomping and squishing him. It was so sad that the tears F cried became hard and crystallized into the punctuation gems we know today. They all teamed up to beat up F even more, punching him around, blasting out his teeth, even tripping him. F continued to cry. His final tear became the question mark crystal, the last gem to be completed. It seemed like no one cared for F anymore, so he ran away to the mountain in solitude. As the years passed, F grew older and more bitter. He became an uppercase letter and started preparing his scheme. Deep down, F wasn't evil. He was just lonely and heartbroken and wanted nothing more to be loved once again by his old friends. <laughs> Guys, that is why it is so important in life to have friends. Because if you don't have friends, what do you have? Exactly, Justin. Oh man, so we both lost another heart. This is so sad, man. You see, it's important to realize that no one letter is good or bad. They all come together to make something bigger than themselves. An alphabet united can quickly become untied, and a real fun so easily turns into funeral. Oh! In the end, the alphabet is what you make of it, and some of the deepest wounds can only be cured by time, and some restful sleep. Wow, bro! Okay, everybody, we each got five lives. If you cry, you lose a heart. Nobody cry, here we go. Whoa! <gasps> it's Buzzo Buddy! Huh? It's mommy. She's watching. What? <gasps> Bunzo's having a flashback. <gasps> oh no, this is like the sad origin of Bunzo. This is so sad. Mommy's watching him. There's oop everywhere. Oh my goodness. Huh? Dangerous. She turned huh? him into a monster. Don't, mommy. Don't turn him into a monster. <gasps> oh, she's watching. She's watching him go down. <gasps> Here comes Bunzo. Uh-oh. Bruh. There's Bunzo! Uh. Oh! Bunzo used to be friendly! Aww! And she didn't like that at all! Bro! Bunzo used to be friends with PJ, Pugapillar, and Poppy! Oh, this is so sad! Wait, guys, I'm so close to crying. This is so bad. He ran into mommy. She doesn't want him to be nice. She said, you gotta be angry like this photo. But he just wants a hug. Oh, this is so oh, it's sad! Okay, guys, I cried a little bit. Oh, well, she playing hide and seek with him, but it's actually a trap, bro. Oh, she's hiding. What is she doing? Guys, no, no, it's no, It's PJ no. Pugapillar. What's going to happen, bro? It's going to get so sad, bro. Oh, bro, bro. She lured him away from his friends so she could turn him mean. Guys, check this out. Oh, no, this oh, is Oh, my not goodness. Good. She tied him up, bro. And then she put him there, bro. Oh, and there's like oof on his back. Oh, I'm crying. Don't do it, Bunzo. No. He doesn't want to be a monster. No, Bunzo. Okay, guys, keep watching. This is where it gets really sad. She ain't him. She took a chomp out of him. Even the crewmate said, oh, I lost like three hearts. Guys, oh. both of us lost a bunch of hearts already. This is so sad. Oh, my bro. That was Boyfriend and Pippi. They got to fight the corruption. Pippi Glitch, girlfriend is corrupted.
good. Oh no, that's his girlfriend who he loves, and now he has bro. to oof her. Bro, a few moments ago, bruh, she got corrupted.exe. No, tell me boyfriend doesn't have to oof his own girlfriend. Oh no, guys, no. <laughs> it's not funny, bruh. <laughs> it's baby glitch, bruh. Don't oof your own girlfriend, man. They're having a flashback to when they were happy. Oh, wow, they used to be just so in love. Oh, bruh. Oh, there's Davey. What's he doing? Bruh. Oh, wow, they protected bruh. each other. They're having flashbacks to all their memories together, all their memories. And now he gotta oof his own girlfriend because she got Pibby Corrupt glitch hacked. Don't do it, boyfriend, don't. <gasps> oh, my heart hurts. The oof her now this story is about the man from the window. What's going on here? <gasps> what is that, Bonzo Bunny? It's Bonzo Bunny versus the man from the window. Okay, Bonzo Bunny. <gasps> There's the man from the window. No, Bonzo, stay away, bro. He got kidnapped. Oh man, now he's trapped. Bro, he got bunny napped, bro. And now his parents are gonna be looking for him. His parents got yeeted. He woke up, he's tied up, bro. Why does everyone keep tying up Bonzo? <laughs> I love Bonzo. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh my goodness, they ate the player too. Oh wow, so now Bonzo and the player are trapped. Dude, the man from the window's like, hee 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 hee. He's like making fun of them. <gasps> Bonzo's so strong, bro. Nice job, Bonzo, you escaped. Oh my goodness, run, Bonzo. <gasps> you got he tripped. it. Nah, he tripped, bro. bro. Oh, no. Oh, he passed out, bro. He got bonked. He's gonna bro. get tied up again. Bro, don't tie up Bunzo Bunny, bro. Get out, get out, get out. Your parents love you. Oh, my goodness. There's his mommy and daddy. His daddy pulling out a grab pack. His mommy and <laughs> daddy coming in. Bro, stop. Nice. All right. Oof, that guy. He's evil. Oh, oh, but he's actually sad. Oh, wait, guys, yeah. this is really sad. He got picked on at school. Bro, maybe he just had no friends. That's why he wanted Bonzo to be his friend. <laughs> That's like me and Aiden, bro. Wow, guys, I, I'm actually Bruh. so sad. Bro, this is so life-changing, bro. Now, Bonzo and Player are in the factory with Mommy. What's Mommy doing? She loved them all. Wow. She got some. She got candy. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Oh, bruh. There's Bonzo. Don't mess with Bonzo anymore. <gasps> it's the prototype. Oh, yo, oh, bruh. What is happening? Yo, hey, yo, who's that? Hey, yo, they used the prototype to oof mommy. What are they doing? <gasps> that, that is crazy. Bro, what's they got some lollipops? They're gonna eat them? No, don't eat them, bro. They might be uh, oofed. Right, guys. Oh, wow. Is mommy in a cage? Bruh, what are they doing? What are they doing to her? <gasps> the prototype trying to oof mommy. And there's some oof coming from her hand now. They're gonna turn her into proto mommy. Oh no, that is so scary. Oh my goodness. Guys, we have a bonus secret video to show you at the end that we almost guarantee will make you cry. So make sure to stick around for that. Whoa, all the friends came in to help save mommy. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Nah, they fell in the EXE. Oh, they all fell in the EXE. This guy, this evil guy's laughing. Oh my goodness. This is Oh bad. my goodness. Bonzo, save mommy, bro. Come on, Bonzo. We could do it. We could do it. Come on, Bonzo. Nah, it's too late. It's too late. Oh no. Oh, they're all in the EXE. Oh my goodness. This is so sad. All of her children turned EXE corrupted. They all out. Wow, oh, there's mommy in the Schrader. Now, this is about the prototype fixing up mommy long legs. Okay, there's the prototype, guys. This is gonna get so sad. Bro, why? What are they doing, bro? <gasps> they turned her into proto mommy. No! Oh, my goodness. <laughs> An experiment on mommy. Oh wow, guys. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, the prototype's so creepy. Yo. It's like half human, half robot. Yo, what are they doing to mommy? Oh, they took her hair off. Wait, what? They're opening her brain. Oh my 
goodness. Oh, that's gross. Oh, my goodness. And they gave her a new EXE brain. Now she's going to be cursed Mommy Longlegs. Bruh, she's going to be EXE Mommy Longlegs, bruh. Oh, wow, dude. This is so bad. Oh, my goodness. Now they got the Mommy body, and they're going to put EXE in there. Oh, they're pumping her full of EXE evil juice. Don't! Wow. Oh, wow. She's turning into a prototype evil. Bro, don't turn her into a prototype evil. Okay, guys, let's see what happens. This is going to get Whatever you do, never turn people into prototype <laughs> evils. Oh, my goodness. She's getting zapped. <laughs> bro, it's not funny, bro. I'm close to crying, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> I'm on my last heart, bro. I can't cry, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's mommy prototype evil. Now we got baby long legs and baby daisy. Okay, what are they doing? Oh, they got a little lollipop. There's baby daisy. It ate all the food. Hey. Oh, that's sad. Always share, guys. Bro, sharing is caring, bro. Right. Oh, there's daddy long legs. There's daddy. Daddy, what's he doing, bro? <gasps> he about to be real angry. He lit Daisy on fire? Wow. Oh, no, it's Daddy Long Legs and Baby Long Legs. It's Baby Daddy. Baby Daddy also <laughs> stole the food? <laughs> What? He just got mad at Daisy for doing that. Now mommy is angry at Daisy. Wow, is she gonna light him on fire? Hey, yo, she chasing him. <laughs> <laughs> This is Bunzo Bunny's funeral. Oh, don't cry, guys, or you lose a heart. I'm already gonna cry. It's mommy. <gasps> what? They all miss Bunzo. Why is Bunzo Bunny oofed? Oh, no. Who did this? He ate too many carrots. No. No! Are you kidding me? No. Huggy no, 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 no. Oh, look no. how sad Huggy Wuggy is. They're carrying the oof body. Bunzo Bunny. Don't, Who did this? Don't Who, cry. Who oof buds up? This is so sad. Just a little snuffle. A little... <gasps> There's oh, Daddy Long Legs. Daddy Long Legs, Daddy Long -legs is Poppy. Is Everybody's so sad. Wait, I'm actually gonna cry. Oh, no. I'm not joking, guys. I'm actually gonna cry. No! Oh, buds up! Oh, Justin lost the heart! <laughs> I was so sad when I saw Huggy Wuggy cry. I just wanted to cry. Oh, no! oh, oh this is really sad. Oh, I lost the heart. This is really sad, man. Everybody's paying their respects. Even Broad, man. Even the Boogie Bot. Even the Cat B. Candy Cat. Ah. Oh, no, are you kidding me? He's an angel. That is so sad. What's this? Oh, it's Daddy Long Legs. Wait, is boyfriend gonna get oof? What is he doing? What is he? What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Guys, boyfriend, Justin, are you okay? Bro, boyfriend just got oofed. It's all of his memories. It's a flashback. They're doing a little pranky box. He's having memories. Oh, they were all such good friends. Now she's gonna have a flashback of when her and boyfriend were doing something fun together. He was there to help her up. He was there to help with a new lunch. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's sad, bro. They're all sharing their best memories of boyfriend. I'm getting tingles. This is so sad. She was sick or something. Boyfriend probably brought her up some chicken noodles. Oh, I love you, mom. Oh, that's so sad. All right, I lost like half a heart there. It's because the mommy, even Sonic.exe, misses boyfriend. Oh, because he's so lonely. Because he's boyfriend, you know what I mean? Right, everyone loves boyfriend. Oh my goodness. That almost got me when it is, I realized that earlier one was his mommy. Right. Sonic fell in love with boyfriend. Wow, that's so sad. It's Pico. Oh my goodness. They're, are they playing? Or They're playing tag. He's chasing him. They're not playing tag. <laughs> They're trying to blast. 
This is always got a rocket launcher like Henry Stickman. Wow, that is so sad, and they both got oof. Guys. They both go oof oof. Guys, they were best He's friends. Oofity. <laughs> so they were playing a game of some sort. I don't think so. Oh wow. They all have their memories, man. Why? Why did Daddy Dearest do this? Why is he punching him, bro? He doesn't want boyfriend to date his daughter. That's why. Yeah, he doesn't want him to date girlfriend. Guys, that's sad. That's crazy. That's so crazy, man. They shared an umbrella. He said, "You can stand under my umbrella." Ella. No, what? Ella. Yeah, guys. No, they didn't say that. All right, guys. What's going on? What? And they got a blade. Oh, I don't know what's going on, but I feel sad, man. And they love each other. Wow, everyone loves. It's oh. even oh, Mickey no. dot AVI. Oh, he gets no. sad. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, no, oh, no, Mickey, no! What is Mickey doing? He Mickey! Didn't he didn't see the train. Boyfriend saved his life. He would have oofed. Boyfriend is such a good guy, man. If it wasn't for boyfriend, you see, don't cry, Adam. Don't, don't cry. I know Adam, he, he's starting to snuffle. He's starting to snuffle. This is what he does when he runs out. Oh, no! Oh, I cried. It's Joe right now. I don't love him. This music is so sad. Now this is the origin story of Bunzo Bunny and PJ Pugapillar. Oh, it's Mommy Long Legs. It looks like everyone's. Uh, playing tag or having fun or something. This is gonna get sad. Oh, there's a uh, kitty cat and the player. Oh, they're all having fun. Everything looks happy now, guys, but watch out. This is gonna get so sad. We both cried so many times. This is so sad. Oh. Okay, you're all buddies. Oh, they all love each other. Okay. All right, that's good at least. Okay. She got candy for everybody. Lollipop, lollipop. No way. Uh oh. What? What? Hey, yo, Poppy? Wait, what? Are they evil? No, they're, oh, they're sleeping. They're sleeping. They're sleeping. Oh, you thought they were oof? I thought they were oof. Oh. I thought they were oof. Yeah, guys, so far this is all happy. Is that the prototype? What was that? The oh, prototype? No. He's tickling her. He tickled mommy to oof. And that's like the janitor of the of the factory. He just tickled on her. Wow, guys, don't ever do that. Stop! That's how I win all the fights. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Wait, what's They're happening? I'm wondering where their mommy is. Oh no. Hmm. Oh no. She's in a cage, bro. Okay, this is getting pretty scary, guys. Oh no, they're what gonna are they run. What are they doing to her, bro? They're gonna run <coughs> experiments on her. Don't run <coughs> experiments on her. <laughs> this is nuts. She oof! Don't stop! She's good. <laughs> she oof! He, oh my goodness, they're about to give Mommy Longlegs the prototype arms. Oh. With the oof on them. Don't surgical her. <laughs> Guys, this is not cool. I'm gonna tickle on you. <laughs> you will stop the Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a try not to laugh, it's a try not to cry. Don't cry. <gasps> they're gonna save Mommy. They say that was Bunzo Bunny through a symbol. They're it's zero. Like, it's like the evil CEO. Oh, they're, but they're, they're scared. You see, their legs are shaking. And he's gonna give them, like, uh, lollipops. Don't fall for it. It's poison. It's poison. It's poison. Yeah. Don't fall for it. Candy Cat. Candy Cat is weak. They love candy. He tried to trick Oh, PJ Pugapo trying to save Candy Cat. He's saying, no, don't eat that lollipop. You're candy gonna, Cat oh. just eat it. Oh, no. He, no. He betrayed his own friend. He just realized what he just did. Oh, my. No, they both fell in. Goodness. <laughs> and he's just laughing. He he just laughing. I'm literally getting tingles, guys. This is so sad. He's just laughing. And that's her babies. Oh wow. That's her babies. Half her babies are just gone now. He just oof half the baby. That's not cool, guys. This is crazy. And they're still player. Whoa! And player and Buzz are trying to save their mommy. But that guy just laughing. No, run, 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 Open run. Open the cage, run, nice. Run, 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 run. Here we go, nice. Oh. the poison trying to save her. All of her babies fell oof in the oof. Guys, that is and not oof cool. in the prototype oof. <laughs> and now she's crying at the and cemetery. Oh, no. What's this? Oh, it's a chicken versus everyone in Minecraft. Run, little guy. So it's him and his chicken. He just trapped him in there. It's a big chicken. He's trying to fight the steam. He's going to sacrifice himself for the chicken. He, he loves his chicken. Wow. He loves his baby. Wow, guys, that is so cool. 
He loves his baby. Right, guys. Chickens are... Wow. He loves his baby. Look at the sunset, guys. He and he's do, having memories of saving his baby. He, he would do anything to save... I would do anything to save my babies. Yeah, guys. Justin does not have babies. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe one day. <laughs> ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're making a mockery of us. <laughs> one day, Justin might become a dad. I don't know. What are you even saying? <laughs> Go! Go home! <laughs> Go! <laughs> Get that baby out of here. <laughs> now, what's this? It's Sonic and Tails. They're at the bottom of the ocean. No. They've been chained up at the bottom of the ocean. Why is it so blurry? Because they're just waking up. They're, oh, they were like passed out. They're running out of oxygen. Oh, it's an animation, guys. Sonic woke up. Tails is still sleeping. He sees that he's chained down at the bottom of the ocean. They're both going to oof underwater. Oh, uh, what? I think so. If he doesn't get oxygen in time. Nice. Okay, Tails got a little bit of oxygen from that bubble. They both just woke up. They're hugging. Nice. They know it's their last moments. Oh, wow. Don't cry. Because I don't think Sonic can breathe underwater. And he always hugs his mommy. He says, you never know when this might be the last hug, mommy. Right? And he says, you never not by my side. <laughs> to his own mommy. <laughs> right? Right, guys? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right, guys? Wait, what? What's happening? Tails just oofed. He's throwing a blade. No, no, the blade, he, like, he let go because he oofed. He's trying to cut the chain, but he couldn't. He needs that bubble. And there's one bubble left. He Tails saved it for Sonic. It's an air bubble, guys. Oh, wow. No. He no. saved the last air bubble for his friend. No, guys. No. Oh, there's a lot more. Never mind. What's Sonic doing? Sonic is letting go also of the blade. They've given up. They just gave up. Both of them. He said, if my friend oofs, I'm gonna oof, man. Wow. If Adam oofed, I would oof. <laughs> Whoa, they got the giant mystery box, and they got Foxy, Rocky, and Boxy, bro. Here we go. No way, they got the giant hey guys, mystery look box. It's Foxy. Boxy. Boxy the boy. You're a, you're a monkey box box. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. Guys, look. This is so exciting. That's that's Ghosty. That's the big package with Ghosty. And there's all the mini figurines and squishies in there. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in there, bro. Look at the joy, bro. Let's go. They look so happy. This is so awesome. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in there, guys. Nice, nice. And they're, they're packing it back in, bro. I put everything the box. back in Boxy. And now I'm going to pull it out. Okay, nice. They put it back in boxy and they're going to take it out one at a time. Very and organized. Look at these. Okay. There's so much fun to open. That, I think, is the poppet. I can see the shape. The boxy poppet? The boxy poppet, bro. Guys, look. I got a boxy poppet. Look at that. Pretty satisfying. This is real nice. Cool. Nice. When I'm stressed out, I could do. I could just pop this game. Good luck. True. Yeah. True. Okay. What we got next? Is this a squishy or figurine? No way. What is it? What is it? What is it? I got Boxy Justin. It's Boxy Justin. Yeah. All right. Oh God! Look! Look at this one. Okay, I wonder what what's it gonna be. What is that? What is that? Yeah, guys, it's always fun to watch you guys open it because we don't know what's in there either. It's mystery. Ooh, oh. what's in here? Squishy. Is that Foxy? No, it's Ghosty. Oh, I got Ghosty! It's Ghosty Squishy! Yeah! Look, look, I got squish. Ghosty! That is awesome. Oh, look at that. There's a Ghosty plushie in there, too. Okay, there's another figurine. No way. Who did they get? This is awesome! What we got? What we got? Thick Ooh, Shark! Ooh, there's Sick Shark! Oh, Thick Shark is pretty rare, guys, wow. as a figurine or a squishy. Oh, I love Lanky Pops. Yeah! Look at the bags. Let's go. Here. Oh, it's sticky and candy, bro. It's, th it's sticky and candy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a little prank in there. It's sticky and candy, wow, bro. Wow, candy. Yup. You have to unwrap it, bro. Here we go. This is so awesome, guys. We love watching you guys un unbox okay, the merch. Make sure to get some. Sticky. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, look at yeah. his reaction. Yeah! <laughs> Sticky, what were you doing in there? <laughs> what were you doing? Let's go. Okay, 
Okay, still got more to unbox. Those are the stickers. I'm pretty sure that's the stickers. They're sticky, dude. Yeah! <laughs> the Lanky Box stickers! Got the Lanky Box logo, let's go. Stickers. Guys, it's always random what you get in them. It's so fun to unbox. Because you don't know what you're going to wow. get. Right? Pretty lit, huh? Bro, this there's is Ghosty, the, man. This is the last one. There's I Ghosty. What it is. No way. Ghosty! It's oh, Ghosty! Yay! Yeah. Cool. Ghosty! Dude, we got double <laughs> Ghosty. So cool. This is awesome. This now, ghosty. look at how many plushies you got, bro. We got Ghosty, Boxy, Rocky, and Fox. We got the whole squad to hang out, bro. And Ghosty glows in the dark. Guys, Ghosty glows Ooh. so bright. <laughs> Let's go. This is so cool. Let's go. Oh, man, they're sticky, bro. Look, it's so cool, bro. Look at all the stuff they got. Wow. This is a good edit, dude. This is a really good edit. Let's go, dude. They put the box on his head. <laughs> okay, somebody else got the giant mystery box. Here we go. Bruh, 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 bruh. This is lit, dude. Okay, let's see what they get, guys. I opened this mystery box. We love watching you guys open the merch because we never know what's going to be inside. And more than that, we just love seeing you guys happy and enjoying the merch. That's the most important thing, guys. Thank you so much for getting merch. And thank you just in general for watching the videos because that's what it's all about. Just having fun. Having fun with the merch, bro. The plushies are your friends. So true, guys. We love seeing you guys open I, up merch. I am all of your friends. Yeah. Yes. All of them. So it's boxy, boxy, the boy. Oh! Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. She immediately put it on her head. Let's go. Is that ghosty? Oh, no, sticky and candy. Oh, nice. Guys, we're going to open up one alongside you guys. Bruh. <laughs> we're going to open one? Yeah. What? We just got this one from Walmart Target, dude. Okay, they're opening it. Be careful. Here comes sticky. You got to twist it. Twist it, twist it. Twisty, twisty. Be careful, Adam. Whoa. Oh, they're opening ghosty. They know it's ghosty. They can open it with her. Bro, I'm opening ghosty. I'm opening ghosty at the same time she is. No way. Yo. This is so fun. It's ghosty. Oh, man. Yay. <laughs> All right, what do they got next? Maybe some figures? Bruh. Here's a figure. Bruh, 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 Let's bruh. see what Justin and wait, I get. Wait, 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 wait. What'd they get? What'd they get? Oh, it's the squishy. They got... Is that sticky and candy squishy? No way, that's a rare. Guys, that is a rare. Wait, okay, we're opening our squishy right here. We got thick shark squishy. Yo! And they got sticky and candy. They got sticky and candy. That's actually crazy, bro. No way, that's a rare one. That's a rare squishy. We don't see that super often. I got a foxy figurine. Oh, wow. I just... <laughs> I am your friend. Boxy, I am your friend. <laughs> oh, they got Boxy. They got Boxy Adam, bro. That's you, bro. Oh, cool. This is so cool, guys. I'm opening our figure. We got Ghosty. Bro. Ghosty glows in the dark. Oh, there's the, the pop They got everything, man. There's the pop -it. Bro, I got the pop -it too. I'm opening it right now. This is so awesome, guys. The unboxing is a lot of fun because yeah, you never know what's going to be inside. Oh, what's what that? They got? That's a figurine. No way. What they got? They got Royal Rocky! They got Royal Rocky! No way! Bro! Wow! That's rare. Wow, guys. We love seeing you guys open the merch. Okay, now we got somebody else opening the box. This is so exciting, guys. We love seeing you guys enjoy the merch because all the plushies are excited to meet you guys. This is awesome. And it's gonna be different than what the last person got. Bro, it's different every time. Wow. <laughs> Is that ghosty, bro? Oh, there's so much stuff, bro. There's so many. Even another bag. It's so cool. Yeah. There's us, bro. Look at how cringe we are. <laughs> oh, look at how cool Boxy and Foxy and Rocky look. Yeah. Here's ghosty, guys. The big one is always ghosty. Yay. Every single one has ghosty. Every single one has ghosty. They know every single one has ghosty. Let's go. Oh, bro. Be careful. Be careful. Let's see. The last person got ghosty and they got oh, ghosty. It's like we got ghosty plushy. Big ghosty and squishy ghosty. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Ooh, it do be satisfying to squish. Yeah. If you guys have gotten the giant mystery box, let us know which uh, squishy you got. I'm getting squished. 
squish. <laughs> All the squishies love being squished, guys. This is awesome. There's the stickers, and it's different every time, guys. It's different every time. This is so awesome because we have no idea what's in here. <gasps> oh, oh shit, shark. shark! Wow! Shark. Yo! They got lucky. Yo! <laughs> is that the poppet? What is that? No, I think that's another figurine. No way. It's another figurine, dude. Okay, now they got candy, bro. Watch out. Watch out. Stinky's in there. You gotta twist it, guys. You gotta twist the lid off candy. Oh, boy. Twist it. You gotta twist it. You gotta twist it. Be careful. Be careful. Push that. Be careful. It's a twisty twisty. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Look at Ghosty just chilling in the back. She says, you gotta twist it. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, they're that gonna do it again. Oh you went flying. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. No way. No way they're gonna wear the box, bro. Here we go. Let's go, dude.